Hi, I'm Coach Tony Morgan. And what we're going to do today, we're going to carry on the video what we made previously regarding our body repair reality training. Now we're on site, we're going to go through the replication of what we did in the classroom. So Adam, who's doing his training with me, is going to work on this by what you see here. Now, if you want to join Adam, all you have to do is click on the link below and you'll be able to see our website, see the information about what I do. As I said, I'm Coach Tony Morgan and I'm a coach because I help you develop in two ways through the psychology, the people skills, all what you need to know about what people don't talk about and then the other side is the technical side of what we do out in the real world being an engineer. So if you want to learn from the best, you come to the best. So that's me, Coach Tony Morgan. As I said, we're on site now and Adam is continuing his development. He's now going to basically re replicate what we did in the classroom when we're taking off the actuator motor from the diverter valve and we're going to be changing the motor and the diverter valve cartridge. We've done the other jobs, which was to do the expansion vessel. All well, that's been done. And now we're just going to do this part of the job. What I would do, yeah, more or less, let me see. You've got it? Yep. Okay. All right, good. Now turn it that it, you can move it with your hand, but don't take it fully out. Okay. Put your tool down so you've got both your hands. And turn it, but just be careful that there's no water going to come out. It's looking good. There's a little bit. So just... That's it, all the way out. Good. Right, put your new one in now. Yep. And then. Excellent. So, doing our practice run in the classroom, and doing it now on site, how does it sort of feel the difference and doing this job now? I feel very confident because I've done it. So I've done that practice in the classroom and uh, now I'm just, what I did in the classroom, I'm just doing it in the real life, just going step by step and uh, just remember what I did there and I just keep doing it here. So yeah, it's very, very helpful. It is, I think it's the best way to become a very good engineer just the way and you train people and, and the fact and, the, and sorry to interrupt sir and the thing about it you're doing it fast real quick yeah i'm picking out very quick because uh i'm just paying attention and the way you're teaching you showing things it makes sense and it gets into my head so yeah it is really really good excellent all right so okay so you can <coughs> tighten that up now So now that's done, the easy part, you just need to put, that's your actuator motor, connect that up and then put the clip on, you have to make sure it's a correct way. Remember this, we did this in the classroom, yep. so you learnt from that now. Yep, so because that's, that's the one that goes in there. Yep, meets up with the groove. Yep. You can leave that like that or you can put it here. So what we're going to do now, we're going to fill the system up. So, just give that a few flicks, PRV, yep. round, one more, that's it. And then, we're going to fill up the boiler, yep. let's put that there. 
you can put that up so that's right down put it back up so the filling loops just underneath in fact what someone's gone and done they've gone and made a custom made hole that's quite unique and you can turn it underneath there that should fill up that's it that's it slowly and then we'll just watch your gauge So we'll just do that to about just over the green. Okay. Or in that green area. One and a half. Because we'll lose a bit of air, well, a bit of water pressure through the air. Mm -hmm. Like the auto air vent. Just checking that. Okay. Looking good. Yeah. Yeah, a bit more. Just put a bit more. Because... I just said you're going to lose a bit anyway, so it's best to go over. Yeah. That's it? Yeah, good. So that's now fitted. Clips in. Great. Okay, now we're going to turn it on. So there you go. Switch on. What you can do, just put, screw it up for a little bit, just to keep it up. So it's fired up. No it hasn't. We've got a fault there. Oh the pressure's gone down, that's what it is. So it's back on, we filled it up. The flow pipe's getting hot now, so that's going round the heating, and the temperature's staying stable. Excellent. Just turning it down. So, I just want to give you a last thoughts on what you've done. How do you think you would have? you know, fair and try to do a job like this, a job like this, without just prior training. Yeah, as I told you, this is my first time in my life, to be honest. This is my first time I've done this. I mean, uh, and uh, you could see I'm, I'm, a, I'm not nervous at all, because the thing is, what, what have I done in the classroom, what I trained there, so I've done exactly the same thing step by step here. So I do make a slight mistake, and uh, but as I said, it's the first time in my life I've ever done that, changing a a, a five-thirds valve motor and a, and a cut switch. So yeah, I'm quite happy. You're quite proud of yourself. Yeah, I am. I'm pleased to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Brilliant. So as I said, guys, if you're looking to become a great engineer and join the path well Adam Adam's from London other people came from London I've had people from Scotland Newcastle Birmingham and other places Liverpool Manchester Yorkshire so they come from all over to join the mentorship program so as I said if you want to come I'm here waiting. So that's going to be it from me and Adam on this video. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one.